In this segment of Two Wheels to Anywhere, we investigate Strobewise, a stunning piece of new technology designed to significantly reduce the likelihood of a rear end accident from 60 to 90%. But first, let's meet the animated Two Wheels to Anywhere product specialist and pitchman, Mad Mike. God! Yes, I know where I am. <laughs> Mike has been working hard to locate new and innovative motorcycle products for the boys to test out. Two wheels to anywhere, kickstands up and welcome back to the show. Did you know we are more than just a travel show? And we have all these items come to us from all over the world that come here to our table. And we sit down as a team and we decide what items we want to put on this show for you, the riding enthusiast, for your safety and comfort and well-being. Strowwise happens to be at the top of the list today, which is the next generation in vehicle safety. There's three million rear end collisions that happen in the US alone, injuring more than 1.5 million people, causing more than $15 billion in property damage. You know, we got all kinds of people out there, you know, texting on the phone, they're talking on the phone. I mean, they'd read the newspaper if they could get away with it. Heck, they would brush their teeth. So we're taught as bike enthusiasts that we are, is to be taught like we're riding invisible. While Strowwise gives us the ability to be visible. Wah, wah, wah. That's what this is doing. Wah, wah, wah. And now it's Q&A time, and Rich is down here to give us some questions. So we got the strobe wires. We got the strobe okay. wires. We're going to install this on my um, Suzuki DL1000 V-Strom. Let it. me ask you this, how is this actually going to save you? This thing works, what it's going to do is going to work to a varying degrees of deceleration, Rich, relative to that deceleration. Mm -hmm. One being the high brake, where the strobe is going to be flashing very fast. Mm -hmm. wah, 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 wah. So hard brake, you know, is when you screech into a hole <laughs> and the back end's going up like Whoa. this. That's a hard brake. That's a hard and brake. And this thing's going to be going like crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, That's right. what it's going to be okay, doing. Okay, okay. And the second type of braking is where you just might roll break. off the throttle and you're coming slowly to a stop. Ooh, yeah, slow. Okay, so this thing's going to be doing... Like a medium flash. A medium so flash. You got, you got this kind of thing okay, going and on. And if yeah. you're at a stoplight or a stop sign, I'm assuming it's going to be going off too and, and give you some kind of Every warning. second or two, you know, okay. just a, a mile flash. Your car drivers behind stopping. will know about it and it won't rearrange You got it you. until you take off again. Perfect. You okay. got it, buddy. Our technician Ken's going to do the install for us. We'll report so back to you to let you know how it works. All right. Okay, well, thank you, Mike. Good luck and Godspeed. The deceleration warning device can be installed on almost all modern motorcycles. It monitors motorcycle speed and acceleration more than a thousand times per second. When the system senses deceleration, it alerts following drivers using an ultra-bright amber LED giving them 1 to 10 seconds of additional reaction time. Over and above brake lights, avoiding potential for dangerous rear-end collisions. Go. The Two Wheels to Anywhere crew decide to buy into Mike's pitch on installing and test reviewing the Strobewise. Hi, it's Pete and Ken from Two Wheels to Anywhere and welcome to this week's show. Well, a lot of things have been happening this week. Pete is particularly interested in this product due to his being rear-ended on his BMW K1200S a few weeks earlier. And clearly the guy behind me who didn't see me, straight into me at about 10 miles an hour and of course it threw me off the bike, four and a half thousand dollars worth of damage. We're going to show you some ways to avoid it. It involves this, okay, and um, this is called a strobe wise. And Ken, in our Ken Tech corner, is going to explain a little bit about that. And so the key really is to add, to increase the visibility of the motorcycle as it's slowing down. Not necessarily just because it's hitting the brakes, but just even if you're coasting to a stop. What you want to do is to, you want to warn the people behind you that you're slowing down. The team meet up today to install the strobe-wise device on Rich's Suzuki DL1000 V-Strom. Hmm, there might be a few problems here. Looks like Rich is struggling with that tank. It's just the width of the tank is so fat. In order to get to the wiring, the tank on the V-Strom needs to be removed. It's off. It's off. off. The beast is off. Amazing. Can you take that? I got it. Wow, it's heavy. You got it? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Oh, it's like holding a new baby. 
Ken is the real mechanic of the group and quickly gets to work. The main strobe unit, this is the light. It plugs into the sensor. This is a sensor that would detect that the bike is slowing down or speeding up or if it's um, decelerating at a quick rate, it would then signal this light to turn on. There's eight wires, but we're only interested in three of them. We got the plus and minus, standard red and black. Then we have a green that is the signal. And so all three of these wires should tap right into the, the sensor wire that we identified on the bike. Richie has the tank off. I'm amazed that he did that without incinerating us and turning the whole garage into a fireball. So now Ken is sort of deep in the bowels of, um, of the bike and uh, we basically have to splice in a wire. So this is a sensor that connects um, to the front wheel and detects how fast the bike is going. We can rebuild it. We have the technology. So up front right here, this is where the speed sensor connects to our, to our bike. And this is where the strobe wise unit taps into it. You've got a permanent mount adhesive mount with Super Duty Automotive Grade 3M tape or edge mount bracket, edge mount bracket. Ken, our man, is intensely thorough. I mean, that's why he's the tech. And, well, we, we fumble with the most basic <laughs> mechanical things. The NTSB has determined that if following drivers had just a half a second to one second of additional warning time, 60 to 90% of rear-end collisions could be avoided. The strobe-wise, which can be easily mounted onto the rear of any motorcycle, was developed by father and son team, Fritz and Bo Braunberger. I got rear-ended on the K about four weeks ago, okay. on the K bike, and this could have been quite interesting. Do you guys, do you sell any, any of this stuff? Um, yeah. all the running lights and all yeah. that stuff? Yeah, as long oh, as yeah, it'll so. work with the CAN bus system. Yeah, this goes to the control unit, then it can just wire directly to the battery, and it's separate from the CAN bus, because it works on D-cell, right? Right, yes. So it has a box that does the yes, gas Yes, it does that, yeah. Okay, yep. Yeah. So uh, it would work. It would work. Yep. Yeah, BMW cool. has right. an LED light just with braking, man. But nothing that does this. Would that find a place on your bike? Absolutely would. Yeah. Absolutely. I was a real traffic officer, a police officer in England. Right. And so anything that, uh, anything at all that helps yeah. drivers see bikers, okay. I would fit. So let me just splice into this. So the doctor's about to make his first incision and uh, basically we're all going to hold our breath. It's should be quite interesting. This is just like house. And, uh, <laughs> and here, just get over here mate, look at this. That was the bike. Got the red one! It's always the red one! This is a very skilled cutting job, as you can see. So here's the light right here in the back. What we did was we flush mounted it um, to, the, to the GV rack. This is a pretty stealthy, clean installation. Here's the main module that controls the strobe wise unit. Um, we mounted it inside a tool tray. Um, this is the wire that goes into the light. And this other harness feeds back into the speed sensor connection right here. It's time to test out the strobe-wise on the streets. I'm going to do my first pass to test out the strobe-wise uh, with some hard braking. Here we go. I'm going to brake by this tree right now. There's some hard braking there. And uh, we have the strobe-wise flashing at constant rate. So this is what would happen if we get to a stop sign. This time I'm just going to uh, use engine braking. I'll kick it down a gear. For the third pass, I'll put it in second gear. We'll let the bike slow down naturally. Although we were highly impressed with the strobe wise, we found that during product review, the initial installation of the device on Rich's DL1000 v strom to be a bit more complicated than expected. What are we supposed to do here with these eight extra bolts? However, Trans Systems provided excellent technical support, but recommend installation by an authorized dealer. It's a long way down to the bottom of this bike. During road testing, interestingly, we found people significantly increased their braking distance when following. For more information on the Strokewise, visit strokewise.com and tell them Mad Mike sent you. I got no spots!